Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, this is our third session for algebraic uh, equations. In the previous session, we discussed how to solve uh, algebraic equations. In this session, we are going to take uh, word problems based on algebraic equations, right? Uh, we have already discussed how to convert a verbal expression into an algebraic e expression. Then we have discussed to solve algebraic equations. In this uh, session, we'll be converting verbal expression to algebraic expression, then algebraic expression to algebraic equations, and we will solve them. Okay? So, let's have a quick recap of one or two equation that we have discussed in the previous session. Suppose I have an equation uh, maybe 3x plus 6 is equal to say 21, right? So, 3x is equal to 21 minus 6, 3x is equal to 15 and x is equal to 15 by 3. This is the method that we have discussed in the previous session, right? Now, suppose we have an equation where there is variable on both the sides. Suppose uh, 3x plus 6 is equal to say 2x plus 10, right? In that case, what we have to do, uh, I just share two methods uh, with you. See, here it is 3x, here it is 2x. Just listen to me carefully. I break this as x plus x plus x, right? Plus this is 6 is equal to x plus x plus 10, right? Now I take out this x from this side with this x from this side, this x from this side and this x from this side. That means I am left with x plus 6 is equal to 10. That means x is equal to 10 minus 6 or x is equal to 4. Okay, friends? So, what I am doing exactly, I am taking 2x this side and 6 to that side. So, 3x. If 2x comes this side, here it is positive because they, uh, it doesn't have any sign over there. So, if it comes this side, it will be negative. Right? And 6 will go uh, to that side. So, here it is positive. So, here it will be negative. So, x is equal to 4. Okay? So, this is the value of x that will, uh, that will satisfy this equation. Okay, friends? So, this way we can make any equations, we can solve any equation. Okay? Now, let's uh, begin to take word problems. Now, a number x plus 7 is equal to 16. What is x? Simple. x plus 7 equal to 16. You have to find out the value of x. Take 7 to this side. So, here it is positive. So, this side it will be negative. Right? So, x is equal to 9. If you put the value of x now as 9 over here, you will be getting 16. So, the equation is balanced. That means the value of x as 9 is correct, right? 9 plus 7 is 16. Isn't it very easy, friends? I take the next one. 36 less than a number P is 20. That means P, 36 less than this. That means P minus 36. And that is equal to 20. 36 less than a number is 20. Right? Now, 36 is negative over here. So, if it goes this side, it will be positive. So, it is 20 plus 36. So, it is 56. Okay? So, the value of P is what? 56. If you put 56 over here, you will be getting 56 minus 36. That is 20. Okay? A number X decreased by, decreased by, 3.4 is 6.6. .6. What is number x? Very simple. Take 3.4 this side. So, 6.6 .6 plus 3.4, that is 1. Right? Very simple. 20 plus a number. A number we don't know, so we will call it as x. So, 20 plus x is equal to 
20 plus a number B. I am sorry, here it is B given. So 20 plus B is 26.3. So B will be what? This 20 will go this side. So 26.3 minus 20. So that is 6.3. Right? So the value of B is what? 6.3. Right? So 20 plus 6.3 will be 26.3. Okay? Now thrice a number Y. Thrice a number Y. Right? That means 3Y. It is 21. That means y is what? Now 3 is multiplied over here. So if it goes this side, it will be, uh, we will divide 21 by 3. So y will be equal to 21 by 3. That means that uh, the number will go into denominator. So it is 7. Now put y is equal to 7 over here. 7 into 3, 21. Is it? Yeah. That means the value of y 7 is correct. Okay. Now, a number multiplied by 3 is 36. A number, we assume it to be x. x multiplied by 3, that means 3x and that is actually 36. So, 3 into x is 36. Now, 3 is in the numerator. So, here it will go into the denominator. So, it's 12. So, 3 into 12 is 36. That means x is equal to 12. Okay? Twice a number P plus 3. Twice a number P. That means twice P plus 3 is 17. Okay. So first of all what will we do? We will take this 3 to this side. So 2P is equal to 17 minus 3. It is plus over here. So if it goes this side, it will be minus over there. Right. So 2P is equal to 14. Now we will divide 14 by 2. P is equal to 14 by 2. So that is 7. Okay. So twice a number that is twice of 7 that is 14 plus 3 is 17. That means our answer is correct. Okay. Now here twice a number C twice a number C less 2 is 36. Right? Twice a number C less that is minus 2 is 36. So 2C is equal to minus 2 that will go this side. So it is 36 plus 2. So 2C is equal to 38. That means C is equal to 38 by 2 that is 19. Right? If you go step by step you won't make any uh, mistake. Don't worry. Right? Now, a number multiplied by 3 and increased by 5, okay, a number which is not given over here, so I take it as x, x multiplied by 3, that means 3x, and increased by 5, increased by 5 is equal to, is equal to the same number, that means x multiplied by 7, that means 7x, and decreased by, decreased by 15 right we got the equation now you can solve it easily this is 3x plus 5 is equal to i break 7x into 3x plus 4x and then minus 15 now this is 3x this side 3x this side so i take 3x from both the sides right now what i'm getting 4x minus 15 is equal to 5 right 4x minus 15 is equal to 5. So 4x is equal to minus 15 will go this side. So it will be 5 plus 15. Okay. So 4x is equal to 20. That means x is equal to 5. That is 20 by 4. Okay. Or what you can do directly from here. 7x. I just show you over here. You take 3x this side and 15 this side, right? So 5 plus 15 is equal to 7x minus 3x. So 20 is equal to 4x or we can say 4x is equal to 20. 
that means x is equal to 20 by 4 that is 5 okay a number divided by 3 and decreased by 5 a number we take is x divided by 3 decreased by 5 is equal to 15 so first of all what we will do we will take this 5 this side so here it is minus so this side it will be plus so x by 3 is 20 now this 3 will go this side in the numerator so x is equal to 3 into 20 that is 60 okay so friends isn't it very easy now uh, let's take some uh, lengthy equations now friends let's say uh, we take this sort of problems these are word problems uh, let's take the first one. In 12 years, Tarun will be 66 years old. How old is he now? So whenever you are having a word problem like this, what you will do? First of all, you will assume the unknown number, right? Let, how old is he now? Let, he is X years, right? Old. Or we can say the present age of Tarun is x okay so present age of Tarun is x in 12 years or we can say after 12 years so present age is x after 12 years what will be his age x plus 12 and what it is uh, told over here in 12 years Tarun will be 66 years old right this is Tarun's present age after 12 years he will be 66 okay I just repeat once again it is x that is present age after that is plus 12 years his age will be 66 now you have to calculate his present age that is x so this 12 will go this side so it is 66 minus 12 so x is equal to 54 right so what is his present age that is 54 years okay so what you have to write Tarun's present age is 54 years okay let's take the next one now last friday dinku has rupees 30 over the weekend he received some money for babysitting he now has rupees 46 how much money did he receive so what is unknown over here how much money right we assume let he earned rupees x for babysitting okay now she was already he was already having rupees 30 right then x rupees she earned from babysitting so total amount which she has which he has now is 30 plus x now he is having rupees 46 that means this amount is actually 46 i repeat already he was having 30 rupees then x rupees more he earned from babysitting so the total amount or the total money she has is uh, he has is 30 plus x and that is actually 46 so we have to find out the value of x 30 will go this side so it is 46 minus 30 that means 16 so x is equal to 16 rupees that means how much money did he receive for babysitting that is rupees 16 okay so whatever is the quantity that you have to find out you assume it to be x then frame a verbal uh, frame an algebraic expression solve it and get the answer okay last week Meena ran 32 miles less than John Meena ran 15 miles how many miles did John run now how many miles did John run let John ran x miles 
right? Whatever is the unknown quantity that we have to find out, we assume it to be x, right? Now this is x miles uh, ran by uh, John, right? Now Mina ran 32 miles less than John. That means this is John's uh, running less 32. Now this is Mina's running and Mina has run for 15 miles. So that means it is equal to 15. I repeat, John is running for x miles. Mina is running 32 miles less than John and Mina is running 15 miles. That means x minus 32 is 15. That means x is equal to 15 plus 32 that is 47 miles. That means John is uh, run for 47 miles. Okay. I hope you are getting it. Uh, friends, uh, we will be taking more word problems in our next session. Do revise this session and the previous ones. Okay. You can print the worksheet from the site. Uh, so you can solve good number of problems before you come for the next session. Bye-bye.